Hi, I'm Leanne Patton with The Whole Nine Yards. Today, I'm at Georgia Carpet Industries. I stopped by a few weeks ago to check out some of their new samples, and I'm really excited to show you what's come in. The first one I'm gonna tell you about is a new laminate from Armstrong Flooring. This laminate comes in several different colors, textures, patterns. There are several painted finishes, different width, planks. This flooring is amazing. It comes in anywhere from eight millimeters thick to 12 millimeters thick, which really helps with feeling solid under your feet and helps with sound absorption. One thing I loved about this is that you can use this in residential or commercial applications. Most all of the floors have anywhere from a 10 to 50 year warranty. It's beautiful wall to wall as a floor, but there are several other things I have in mind for this product. The Architectural Remnants collection from Armstrong has so many pretty patterns and styles. This one is wood reclaim in an old original dark finish. I love this flooring because it has several different widths. That makes it look more like reclaimed wood and not perfect. I love the way that it has different textures to it and it almost has the feel of saw marks. This would make a great accent wall. This laminate was another favorite of mine. This is from the Architectural Remnants collection. It's antique structure and the color is milk paint. This looks like old wood that was painted white and the paint has distressed and worn down over the ages. It's so pretty. I actually created this old shutter out of this laminate. I wanted this to have the resemblance of a barn door, but I didn't want it to be quite as big as a barn door because I wanted to be able to use it on either side of an opening. I'm actually gonna have, I have two of these that I'll use to frame out a doorway. I have step-by-step -step instructions on how to make this shutter on my blog. I have several projects in the works for this flooring, one of which is a barn door, and that one I'm pretty excited about. The other, I'm gonna use this in a client's home over a fireplace. This is also from the Architectural Remnants collection. It's wood reclaim in the old original wood brown. I love the tone of this laminate and I love the wood look that it has. This is a beautiful flooring. I love the texture. I love the way it has knots in the wood and it almost looks like hammered marks or saw marks in it. This has such pretty colors in this floor. This is one of my favorites. I love this laminate flooring. This is um, from the Architectural Remnants Collection um, to the sea, and it's in color sea glass teal. This is actually one that I made several projects out of that I'm gonna show you today. I could see this in so many different applications. I could see this as an accent wall behind a bed and really almost any wall. This would be great in a man cave halfway up the wall and do something like corrugated tin or something like that up above. And I mean, it would be basically indestructible. <laughs> Wallpaper has nothing on this. I have it this way to show you the look in a horizontal pattern. I love it horizontal on the wall or vertical, or even in a herringbone style pattern. You could do so much with this. One of the great things with this flooring, after you have it installed wall to wall, you can take your scrap pieces and come up with some really great projects. When you have your flooring installed and you know that you have several projects you wanna use those scraps for, go ahead and have your dimensions figured out. When your installer's there, have him make all of your cuts. And that way, you're ready to go. You don't have to stop and make any cuts. You have your pieces ready to make your picture frames or anything else you wanna use your extras for, and you're good to go. One of the projects that I created from this beautiful laminate flooring was a coffee bar. I took a simple bookshelf, just a very inexpensive Office Depot bookshelf, 
painted it, added the laminate flooring to the back, added this trim I picked up at Hobby Lobby. This is like a metal trim and I put a paint finish on the trim as well to the front of the shelves, added industrial wheels to the bottom of the cabinet, and there you have it. You can find step-by-step -step instructions on this coffee bar and many other projects on my blog. Click on the link below. One of the projects I came up with was this picture frame. If you want to see step-by-step -step instructions on how to create this picture frame, you can find it on my blog. Just click on the link below. If you would like to have this picture frame and you don't want to have to make it, I have good news for you. I'm giving this picture frame away. Click here for details on how to win this great picture frame. I'm so glad my friends at Georgia Carpet Industries told me about this new laminate flooring. It's inspired me to be so creative and come up with all kinds of new projects, and I hope it's inspired you too. Armstrong has your floors covered, and maybe now your walls and furniture too.